morning everyone it's Rachel here and I hope you had a lovely weekend um I had a lovely weekend at home yay and um yesterday I spent a bit of time in here and worked on some journals got them started so yay okay so we're going to work on this one here it's gorgeous um and we'll just quickly fit through and see where we got up to so this is really a start to finish journal there's a pocket in there i may add more things but you never know so i'm liking how it's turning out so far very um eclectic bit of a mishmash oh i love that okay isn't it fun when you when you sort of flip through and then you remember things and you think, oh, isn't that nice? Now these are going to little doggies ears there. All I'm going to do is just snip them off where they won't bother me anymore. Chuck it in over there. Okay, so I just put a bit of washi tape there. I think I did that off camera. That's, and that's going to be a pocket. I love that page pockets there so how is everyone I hope you had a lovely weekend um, you know what I don't want to cover that I wonder if we could put like a let me see if I can find my um, pieces of vellum where are they here is this vellum yes I wonder if I've just got a plain strip that I could put on there, vellum or tissue paper sometimes it is, here we go, here's a boo-boo. So I wonder, because I love that, but I'd like to have a little tuck there, I think I'm going to tear that down, have a ruler, might tear it deeper than what I want so that way I can fold it, looks straightish to me. So that was a misprint. Never throw your misprints out. Just fold that over like so. Is that going to work? Yes, that'll be good. Grab my glue book. Grab my, I'm not going to use wet glue on this because it really crinkles. So let's just use glue stick. It's funny how ideas just come as you. That's why I, I flip through multiple times because something will come to mind um, as you sort of re-flip through to see what you might like to do. And I want to do my little snippy, my semicircle snippy. And I'm just going to grab a piece of paper because it helps you go. Now, you like, one of you lovely ladies told me to do that. It helps you go through the tissue paper or vellum now that's a bit thick because it's that's like four plus the tissue there we go that looks about right to me okay good and that's correct and I'm going to glue that in place I might use no I'll use this one I was thinking I might use my quick trying one but I do ask myself, how, how quick is it? Oh, I didn't even get any glue stick under there. Note to self, make sure you get glue stick everywhere. Okay. Oh, ding dong. It's too tall. Just a minute. I forgot about that, that bit. In my haste, I'm gonna snip that off because I need my. I want my my semicircle to stay kind of centered. Yes, and I'll. Oh goodness gracious me! We're not starting well on a Monday, are we? Not doing a good job. I need to grab a. Let's bring the wet ones over here. And then, just move it over here to a dry bit of glue. I feel like the brain has not started functioning yet today. Right. 
Yep, that's good. I'm gonna grab my little, I'll just grab a card. All of these cards were sent to me by you lovely ladies. I did end up having some of my own that I could have used, but I really did appreciate it because they are so great for smoothing out. Now, when you're working with tissue paper, well, not tissue paper, tracing paper, why do I always call tracing paper tissue paper? I'm such a goose. Um, you do need to just sort of go over it a few times to get it to stay down because it just takes a minute for the glue to hold. Okay, so we'll put a tuck in there. Excuse me, oh, this is, it's gonna, I can tell it's gonna be a glue glue day. Glue everywhere day. Okay. Right, that's gonna be closed like that. And then when you open it, there's a tuck there, that's good. And you could actually write across there. I think that would look really cool. Yeah, so you can still write on there. So that's that. And where did we get up to? Did we do more? I feel like this could have something. Let's see, what else do I have going on here? That's all all right. I'll leave that. We did that. I think I've stopped there. I did. I stopped there. This is where I stopped. So let me just go back here. I feel like this could have a little something on it. And... I have another printout of Steffi's kit. This is why I end up with so many. So I think I'm going to put one of these, but I think I'll look for the bigger one. I printed them out multiple times. Multiple times. More than multiple times. Put those over there. I just want to see here. Oh, they're a little bit. Gosh, they're pretty. Um... I quite like this one. I might tear this one down. I'll have to lose some of the edge. And I'm going to make it into a pocket. I just have to see how wide it needs to be to fit onto that page. Oh, I need to lose quite a bit. You know what I could do? I could put my pocket on this page and I'll just wrap it around so it decorates the other side. That's a new thing for me. So I'm gonna do, what I wanna do is just, I'm, I'm gonna fold that white bit down to strengthen it. So I'm just eyeballing where I might like to snip it off so that that doesn't wrap around. Grab my glue thing helps if you don't have your scissors underneath and I'm going to glue that down so it's reinforced at the top and I think I will do a snip I like the little semicircle snip because it just reminds you that that is a pocket in case you haven't put anything in there um, and I'm just going to do it this way so I can see because that's going to wrap around so I sort of didn't need to do my center from here to here Okay, so let's put in our crease here. Is that enough? Let's see. It's a bit crooked. It's always crooked with me. Now, does that work? Yes. So I think the easiest way to do it is to put the glue on the little flappy bit that's wrapping around the corner. Glue that on. And then open it out. And glue your pocket. Yep, yeah, that's the easiest way in my opinion, my humble opinion. So what's the weather like where, where you guys are? It's still stinking hot here. I'm sure you will know because I think it's been, you know, Europe's in a terrible heat wave and there are bushfires. I hope people are okay. Um, and, you know, being able to get out of the heat. When I went to the post office this morning, and the, my lovely lady that works there, she, she said they went to the beach yesterday. And it was so hot even at the beach. I said I couldn't stand it. It's not like, because you know, this is like a, a sea. Um, so there's not like a lot of ocean breezes like what we get in Sydney. And I'll tell you what, 
the water is not very nice. It's brown. Well, it can be clear, but the sand is brown because of all the rivers that come down um, and go into the sea. And so they bring down river sediment. So um, the sand is brown. So even when the water's clear, it's like a greeny, clear, greeny, browny color. It's not blue, if you know what I mean. So um, I want to put something here. So, um, and the other thing is, it's not a very deep sea. And so it is, that would be perfect. You know what I might like to do? Oh, now where are they? Oh, I've got my to-do box over here, just a sec. I'm just looking, here we go, looking for an envelope. Oh, well that's a semi-prepared envelope. Let's put this, we haven't done this for a while. I'm going to put this so that this side here is a side tuck. I'll have to trim it down. And then this is going to flip out. That's what's going to happen. Let's do that. Uh, so do I need to take those? I need to trim it down just a tiny bit. Yes, I was telling you the water is very, very warm. It's like swimming in soup. So that's why I don't go racing to the beach down here. I like I like um, I like the the beaches in Australia, if I'm honest, um, because you know you have some waves. I don't I don't you know go too far if there's big waves because I'm an old lady now. But um, when I was young, I was right out there body surfing. Um, so, yeah, but it's just so much more fun. I don't like to go and sit on the beach and tan. So that's a, that's my issue. So um, for me, it's like I go to the beach to cool down, enjoy seeing this, you know, the, the water and that sort of thing because it makes you feel good. And um, and what am I trying to say? And, and have a body surf and have a nice swim that actually cools you down because the water, um, especially in Sydney, I'll, talk, I'll speak for Sydney because I... I come from Sydney. So um, I think in um, Melbourne, the water is much colder. Um, but Sydney, the temperature can be quite cool of the water too. It's not like piping hot. So um, it depends on the currents. It depends on the day when you go. It can be warmer or cooler. Sometimes they have warm currents. Sometimes they have cold currents. And it can be, you know, 30 degrees outside. So... Um, so yeah, but I just I just like water that cools me down. So even though I, you know, I do complain getting in and I'm slow at getting in, I whinge and moan and oh it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. It takes me a little while to get in. Um, but I do eventually get in and and um and then I enjoy it. Because you do you want you get used to it, you warm up. But the nice thing too about um you know, a surf beach like Grande Beach or something like that, is that the waves sort of crash into you. So um, they make you get in because you get wet. They splash up onto you and you don't have a choice. So, yeah, I'm really, it's making me feel happy. I shouldn't get too excited because I haven't gone yet at Christmas um, when it's summer. And, you know, we don't know things, think, we don't know what's going to happen. You can't, you can't assume that everything is going to be <laughs> normal in inverted commas, whatever normal is, sort of thing. And I'm also going to do this bit here. I know I've already got a leftover bit from something else, but um, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to cover that. So I'm going to take this piece here, and I don't want it to crash into the, the crease. And I'm going to trim. Well, I'll trim it afterwards. I'll glue it on and trim it afterwards. That's the only thing about, you know, using window envelopes is you do have this little rigmarole of having to um, put all these little patch. It's like a patchwork. It's worth it, but it is like a patchwork. We haven't done one of these for a while. So it's good to revisit things. That might be all we get done in this video because it takes a while to do these. There's a bit of work involved. Now, I haven't done a very good job there. All right. We did have the most bizarre dinner last night, I will say. So, um, my mother-in-law's best friend, or one of her bestie boos, um, who we rented her place um, while we're renovating here, 
she wanted to take us out for an aperitivo. And so normally, I would say you would have an aperitivo. Um, I think I might wrap, I think I might actually just wrap that all the way around. Yes, I think I'm just going to glue it on. Um, you'd have it like, it's, you know, it's pre-dinner. So it usually ruins my dinner. Like normally I won't eat dinner after an aperitivo because in Italy, and you must experience that, guys, um, when you come to Italy. And if you don't, you know, if you don't drink alcoholic beverages, you can have a non-alcoholic beverage. Um, but they, you know, like it probably starts at 5.30, really. But you go around, around 6, you'll find the bars are very busy. Um, and and they they serve drinks. So, you, you know, you might have a mojito or a glass of Prosecco or you might have an... Um, non-alcoholic mojito you know, with no alcohol in it um, they're very nice Lulu has those she likes those um, they have lime and stuff like that I don't know what else they put in tonic water or something um, anyway you might have one of those and then th they give you free nibblies and some places do like some of them bring out a huge platter of incredible stuff and sometimes it's the things it's the end of the day and um, you know the bars whatever you know panini and things they've got left over they'll cut them all up and put them on the plate because they won't serve them again the next day and um and you have and you know have drinky pippies and it's really nice so anyway so she wanted to long story story short she wanted to take us out for an aperitivo and then so we thought we must be going at six and <laughs> we went at seven thirty, and i thought oh well, we won't be having dinner then because if we go at 7.30, um, that's dinner time. So we won't be having dinner. And so we went and they did bring out, we had, now, we had a spritz, which is Aperol, Aperol and um, Prosecco. And we all had one. And they, um, and they brought out nibblies, but it was not like a huge amount of nibblies. And um, and so I thought, oh well, that that won't do for dinner, and um, and then, which I couldn't believe because it's so unlike my mother-in-law. Her friend um, had organised for us to have a bombolone. Now a bombolone is a, a big, fat round. It's kind of like a donut, but it doesn't have the circle. It's like a big puffy thing, but it's donut dough, and it's empty inside. And they put a little bit of um, uh, they call it crema chantilly, like a custardy cream sort of thing inside. Um, and, and I mean, they're very yummy when they come out of the oven fresh. And, and so she had organised for us to have one of those, which was totally bizarre to me, <laughs> after a, an aperitivo. And, um, <laughs> and that was our dinner. And I couldn't believe my mother, it's so unlike her because she's so healthy. Like she... I, 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 if we did something like that, she'd be telling us off. Like, what are you doing? That's very bad for you. <laughs> so I couldn't believe it. Anyway, it was weird. And 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 so then we didn't know what to do. Oh, I forgot about those. That's all I've got left. I need to do some more. So yeah, it was a. That's what we had for dinner. It was weird, and not healthy at all. But oh, it didn't matter. Having an aperitivo is not the most healthy thing in the world. Um, because you know, you ha they bring out like little pieces of pizza and focaccia, and they can bring salami. There's one in my town that does, and in they bring out like if there's a certain time it starts. Where was I? Oh, here. Um, there's a certain time it starts, and then they start bringing they do a, like a whole they have a whole table set up, and you take your plate up and you just keep filling it up as many times as you like. Um, and they bring out buffalo wings and and all kinds of stuff, um, and it's free. You just buy your beverage, whatever that is, and the and the nibblies are free. In fact, my brothers, when they come here, when they especially when they first came here, they couldn't believe it. They loved it, and they were like, "Oh, we've got to do that in Australia." But it, I don't think it would work in Australia. Things, um, you know, but they don't have the same types of um, bars and things that they do here. It doesn't it's not the same? Like a bar here is not necessary. It's a bar where you can go and drink alcohol, but it's also the breakfast bar. Like you know, it's open all day, and they serve, um, they serve breakfast. You know, cappuccino and brioche and croissant, which are croissants, um, and they serve, you know, panini for lunch. And sometimes they even 
do a little bit more for lunch. They might set up a window with salads and things as well. So it's not quite the same. And then they're open until midnight sort of thing. So it's a long day for the people that own the bars, but they do have people that work for them. I'm do I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to figure it out. It's a patchy business. I don't think I want to wrap this one around the corner because I think it's going to become too bulky. So that's going to go there. And then I have another little patch to fill. Just trying to use up my scraps. Use my scraps. I might overflow it there just a little bit so then I can trim it off. Not overflow, you know what I mean. Overhang. Overflow, it's not liquid. Put that there and I've got it. Oh, I think I have a little bit of book page there. I think that'll do. That'll do the job. I wanted a, a whiter colour, but I didn't want to use this strip because I felt like this strip is good for something. I don't know. The shape of it's just inspiring me to use it for something else. Oh, put a little bit of blue here. Oh, a little pop of blue will do. That'll do the job. There we go. Take that little piece off there and glue that on. And we've done our patchy front. Now, the reverse side will be the same deal, but I'm going to do it a bit more maybe a bit more writable here I'm going to put some sort of image here I'm going to I thought I might glue this on go down the beige road just tear it off and I might just tear a little bit up there hopefully I didn't tear too much and I did yeah that's okay because I didn't want to cover all of that writing So we're getting there so this is a very nice um it's from the i don't know the 60s or something some document but it's lovely rough sort of paper and it's got a great accru color and i love of course the typewriter font it's a bit like a typewriter font isn't it There and let's see what strips I have. Put a pity, a pity, a pretty pink strip down. I'm wondering if it's going to be long enough. This is why I keep these bits. Oh yes, it will do the job. There we go. Pretty, pretty. Now, I don't need to decorate the reverse side of this flappy bit because it's going to glue down. What I do need to do is put my little snip in there. That looks all right to me. Okay. Now, here, I want this is, this is going to flip out. So, I do need to work on that. I have this nice piece of ledgery sort of paper things are getting in my way let's just move them okay so I will I don't want to lose that stripe there and I might put it no I'm gonna have it start down there okay because well I don't need to have it start down there because I'm going to put a piece right across but I think I will have it start up there so let's just tear that bit off and I need to reduce the width of it. That's all right. So glue that on. Okay, and then we need a piece for here. Let me have a look at this one. 
my piece oh that's perfect even if it overhangs a bit it's got script so I'm going to put that there there I'm gluing off camera you might have noticed because I've got a bit of stuff on my table I have been good every time I come and work on my table I do put everything away everything gets put away so that's that and then I'm going to find this nice big piece of I could put that I might start it there I'll patch that bit because I don't want to I can put this piece there I don't want to cover the, the sampler or all of the sampler I should say Let's put that there I told you it's a bit like a patchwork now you can you could figure out where your window is and cut it cut out a window out of one sheet of paper and that would make your life go much faster but I'm using up the scraps I'll just leave that like that and um, There. and I'll, I'll just trim it down and oh, that one's sticky as well or maybe I'll put no I think I have a darker color down lower put that there and I'm going to fold it over there okay so we used a bit of that and then oh and that's going to be perfect there we go because I might well I might put a pocket there I'm not sure I might not put a pocket there I might leave that for writing actually and I'll tell you where I'm going to put a pocket is here so then you can put a tag in and you'll be able to see it in the window so that can be for writing. Okay, so let's get gluing. So all I need to do is, I might use my stri slightly stronger wet glue. Now that's no good. I'm going to take that off. I don't have one down there. I put my glue here, down here. Oh my gosh, the elephants are running around upstairs. You guys probably can't hear them, but I can. Oh, real elephants. Anybody else would go and knock on their door, but I'm not going to. I want to live in peace. And that's my pocket, you see. Let's see, yep, that's it. So we've got a pocket over here. And I could add something to add a little pop of colour, maybe a little bit of washi tape or something. But make sure it all sticks because it's quite thick. This is a nice strong piece of paper. It feels like it's a bit like um, rag paper, although I think it's a slightly modern, more modern handwritten document. Um, it is on a raggy type paper, so it's quite strong. Okay, and that's there. And then I'm going to put a pocket here. And I'll probably use one of Steph's cards again because I like those. And almost the right shape. I just I like that one. Not that. Not that one. I've used that one. But wait, there's more. Oh, that one. Okay. Need to tear a bit more off, I think. I don't want to tear off the other one if I don't need to. Right. 
because you know they're journal cards but they can be used as pockets as well and that just a little bit more off okay i'm going to trim it because i excuse me glue behave yourself I think, you know, this sort of pocket, a little pocket is a nice solution when you have a lovely page like this that you don't want to really cover at all, but you cover a little bit and then you can put tags in so it becomes functional, but you don't um, cover it all so you can still enjoy seeing it. Okay, I think that's lovely. Be like that. So I'll let that dry. And that's that. I'm going to snip the corners. I just like the look. And I think I want to put something on there. Let's just see what we have in here. Flowers over there. I wonder, do I want flowers or do I want some sort of bird or maybe a butterfly? Where are my butterflies? I've got butterflies here. I need to cut them out. Let's have a look. Just a pretty butterfly. Let's try this one. Might blend in too much that one. another butterfly sheet oh it's the same one I kind of like this one as well well I'll cut it out of the other one Demelinger. Now I might get my lid oh, I've got some little scissors here although these are these are stiffer these ones I don't know how I'll go with these compared to my other ones I oh, know they're all right this little metal embroidery scissors they are They're not doing a bad job. Now I like I try to keep my antennas. Antennas? That's what they are. Oh, you know what I called them once? Antlers. <laughs> antennas, that's it. Oh, I know what I had to talk about. So um, some of you who follow Forage by Lisa Mattock might know that um so when I was in Australia, I met up with her, with my mum and my sister, because um mum and Sass know her quite well there friends with her and um, she's really lovely and she organizes textile tours to Paris and she asked me um, would I be interested in organizing one to Italy and being the guide so I've done it I put it together and oh, isn't that pretty I'm going to put that there and so Lisa has already advertised it and it's in May next year um, and it's coordinating with the market that I go to with my mother-in-law twice a year. That's the whole town. Um, and it's already sold out. We, I couldn't believe how quickly it sold out. Um, so, you know, it's just incredible. And um, But anyway, Lisa said to mention it anyway because she is putting names down on a list. Um, and we might organize one for later in the year as well. So I'm looking into that at the moment. But you can't, don't contact me and ask me because I am not the organizer of the the um, textile tour in Italy. I'm just the guide. Like I'm putting together that program and everything and, and accompanying you and everything like that or whoever. Um, but Lisa is the one that is the actual organizer and in inverted commas, the owner of the tour. So you need to contact her um, if you want to go on a wait list for that. So 
yes i need to, to mention that i'll put her i'll put her links in the description box to her website um and she's on instagram and she has a website and um and she, uh, she actually has a section i think she has a section textile tools or something like that so that's and but you can contact her and um and see what the what the story is i don't know because i'm not the organizer like i'm not the organizer if you know what i mean i'm just the 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 taking you out and about person <laughs> anyway you, you know what you're going to get if you come on tour with me a bit of silliness now i'll try and behave myself okay so i've got this page here i really like that i think i'm just going to leave it let's get back to the job at hand i'm going to leave that we've got lots of pockets so i don't want to go too crazy i don't want to cover things that i like and we've got this here so i need to do a little something there um i wouldn't add anything in there um so and i might create some sort of pocket there but i think we'll do that next time and then we'll fill all the pockets and then it will be finished so let's just quickly have another another look you never know something might come to mind as i go along there's a tuck there like for example here i might decide to come and add a label or something i could add something like that but no do i need to anything now we took off the the wheat bit there or do like that there i think i'll just add that there this is this is what happens to me i just add things because i like them And they can be built upon. So this journal um, will be going up for sale. Uh, now, if anyone on my on my journal list wants this one as their journal, please contact me and I will do it first in, first served. If nobody on my list, because they might want a bigger one, um, uh, doesn't want it, then I will put it in my shop when it's done, but I, I won't reserve it for anyone. I'll only give it to someone on my list, or otherwise, when it's done, I'll say, nobody on my list claimed it, so it's going in my shop, and I'll say a time, and then whoever will get it. So my goal is to be able to put more journals in my shop just randomly like that, but I need to get through my list first. This could have a little bit of something, but it could also be a nice spot to write notes. Could be a nice spot to stick a little label. What's this? What's this one here? Oh, that's got writing on it, but I mean, so cool. Um, you know, in these flips, you could add, you could add, oh, we didn't do any extension of pages. Let's do one of those. Well, there's an extension. I love that. It's very busy, but I like it. It's very clashy and busy. I like clashy and busy. Um, so maybe here we didn't do much. I wouldn't extend those. Um, you know what? You, well, no, because you can write there. It's so nice. I don't want to do anything to that. Um, maybe here. Here on this page. I, you see, what I could do is I've got some... Just let me move my book. I've printed out some of my antique let, uh, book pages. I've got more in the printer. They were printing out while we were while we were doing the video. Um, this one, and I print them, you know, with different papers on the back. And I'm going to add it. I'm going to leave that there, I think, because I might, I might, um, just tear it straight a bit, and then I'll tear off the other white bits like this. I want it to be a little bit rough. So this is a bit like fussy tearing. Keep your thumbs together so you can control it a bit. Just tear this. Excuse me, book. You're in my way. That just gives me annoyance. Get, get, get out of my way. It. We want rough tearing. We don't want perfect tearing. That's not what it's about. I was keeping that. Ding dong. So I'm thinking what I can do, I can do one of two things. I can, first I need to get that off. Got it. Okay. So I wanted to fold that over. And 
and I wanted that bit. That bit's going to be a tuck, a pocket. I'll show you. So I'm going to fold that over because it is just copy paper, so you want to strengthen it where you're going to be pushing things in and out of it, like so. Now, it's not too tall. No, that's good. I'm going to put my snipper rule in there. And, okay, so let's see. So I've got my book here. So, or I could attach it like that. I could attach it like that. Or I could... Um, would I attach it like that? I don't like that little bit up there. Excuse me. While I take it. Oh, and I don't like that corner there. Just take those off. Right, so I could attach it like that and then it's a side tuck and then fold the, it back on itself like that and it pulls out. I could attach it like this and do the same thing, same deal. Fold it back like so and it pulls out and there's a tuck. The other option is I could actually, and I think I might do that, I could actually fold this over like so and do like what we did on the other page is glue it on there. And then this can, I'll just actually tuck that under. Yes, that's what I'll do. Because that way it won't get all caught and messy. So that's how I'm going to attach. And then you open it and pull it out. So, oh yes, I like, oh look at that. See, that turned out well. So what I'm going to do is just leave it there in place where I decided. I'm going to run some glue down here. I glue that bit there because otherwise, well, actually, then it would be open because I'm not gluing the other side. We don't want it to be open. Put that there. Squish it down. Hope and pray that it sticks. Of course, it will stick. Just needs to stick in a timely fashion so I don't have to keep doing that. And then that opens out like that. And then the next thing you could do, you could add a pocket here. Or you could add a side tuck there. But I wouldn't, I don't normally use book page on book page unless I'm, I'm wanting to, like, you know, on purpose. I could use, let me see, I had some old bits of magazine. I don't know whether I'll like it though. Oh, I don't mind that. No, I don't think I like it. I didn't mind it, but I didn't love it. So you could put something there. We might do that next time because I think this has been a very long video. So there we go. So we've got out. I do like to add those. Let's run your finger along there, make sure it sticks. And then you've got another extra writing space. And that's how you add extra writing space. And But also don't forget, yes, I have covered a bit of writing space, but you can write all across there. And you're going to put something in here. As well that can be written on and you, then you've got all these extending pages as well so I hope you enjoyed that um, I will be back again tomorrow unless something gets in my way but it shouldn't I don't think so so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it if anyone on my list wants this as their journal um, know that I'm I have started working on other ones so if you want to wait you can wait if you would like to have this one the list is very long some ladies are, will be quite a long time before you get one. Um, could even be next year because that's <laughs> it's too long. Um, so yeah, I'm not taking any more people on at the moment um, because it's too you know it's I, I just want to get through, you know through the list and um, and I don't rush. You can see I don't rush. It takes me you know I do them slowly the journals. I say I've started some, but they'll take a while for it'll be a while before they're finished because I don't get to work on them all the time. But anyway, I'm waffling. Um, yeah, if anyone on my list wants this one, um, first in, first serve. So just contact me and it'll be for you. And if nobody on my list wants it, no problem. I'll put it in my shop. But I will not reserve it for anyone that's not on my list. Um, I will give a time, as I said, and it will go in at that time and when it's finished and whoever gets it, gets it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.